Hello and welcome to one more episode of Free Thoughts. Today I want to share with you a nice concept to know, that it is our thoughts are not real. Our thoughts are not real. The thoughts that are real are those that we want to be real. So, tendentially we have a tendency to grab on what is negative, so we can, well, maybe improve and and make uh, and make the world in a way that that negative thing doesn't bother us right tendentially we go and see more easy what is bad and what is good we have to train ourselves consciously to notice and see what is good in life because of our evolutionary uh, evolution until today so, and that and this is really interesting to know because we can just notice notice our thoughts and then let them go. And maybe grab on and focus on the good ones, the ones that are useful. And meditation mindfulness is good to this. And I recommend a lot the app Waking Up. is very interesting. There's one exercise there that to me made me click. And I believe it has a huge profound impact even today. That it is observe the observer. So let's say that this hand is what we think we are. Our eyes and our thoughts, they are like one. Our eyes, thoughts, uh, thinking, whatever it is. And he proposes an exercise of, of observing the observer. So observe the observer. So it's like an exercise of, of distanciation from ourselves or from our thoughts and it's really interesting because sometimes we think that our thoughts are real they are not real the thoughts that are real are those that we want to be real okay and this is really interesting to know because thoughts of you are of undervalorization are not good enough you can't do it we can replace those to, to good thoughts and we can do this simple exercise for example writing some bad thoughts x y z Done. And then the thoughts that we want to replace the old ones, X, Y, Z, new thoughts. And when we have the old thoughts, now we have something to replace them. And we, when the bad thought comes, we say, no, I am enough. And if you can remember stimulus that make you believe that you are enough, for example, past experience, even better. Because you are proving yourself that you are enough with previous experience. And the thought in self becomes more useless over time because you are proving yourself that you are enough with stimulus, with emotion. And emotion is powerful on our human biology. Okay. Without emotion, no behavior happens, as Antonio Damasio says, neuro, neuroscientist that is Portuguese. And what more can I else uh, say to you? That's a really interesting exercise, this tool from meditation in the app Waking Up. And this writing exercise can be useful for some people as well. And I think the key, if you don't do these exercises just throughout the day, it is that to know that everything is a philosophical construction. What is beauty? What is ugly? What is to be fat? What is to be skinny? What is good what is bad what is a good professional what is a bad professional it all depends on the context or on what we believe that is a good or bad professional even what is right or wrong 100 years in the into the past things that were correct at the time they are not correct today okay and where all that correctness come from or what is correct or bad from our thoughts what we start to believe that is good or bad so we construct reality based on our thoughts and the thoughts that we feed more and we focus more they grow and in turn into reality okay somebody can have a lot of potential and can work very hard very hard but even though he is working very hard he doesn't believe in himself it doesn't matter right self-sabotage will come etc 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 so, key thing to grab from this video, besides those two exercises, it is our thoughts are not real, only those that we focus more are real. And we can train to let go the bad thoughts, accepting them and letting them go. Mindful meditation helps on this, I recommend waking up.
Okay. And when you have the bad thought, we can look to the thought that you want to substitute by and say, um, proof. So you can believe in. I do this differentiation from uh, biological beliefs and what I know it is true. So I will extend this a little bit, even though I will make a video um, sooner or later. But it is. I like this concept. I can know that I have a biological belief of, of something that I don't know if it is true. But I have that belief because it is functional. It is good to me to have that belief. It makes me win peace. For example, uh, a person maybe is agnostical. It, the person doesn't know if God exists. But he is on an existential crisis, for example. Or maybe sometimes he falls a little bit into there. And the person don't, don't know if God exists or not. But because the person wants to, well, have some morals to stand by and something on to grab and don't to fall into niche uh, category of nihilism, nothing matters what else I'm going here, the person can start going towards a belief of believing in God, even though there's something in there on the side of the person that I don't know if God exists, but I will start to believe on it because it is useful to me. Right? So we can uh, do this for everything. For example, I believe that uh, the persons that I will meet today at work, they are, they are good. I believe they will be good because we are, it is good to reputation company, etc. We don't know. But we start from the belief that they are, because that will make us more prone to be happy, to make a good impression, impression, and to get along with them, right? Because a person that starts from that belief, they are good people, it will behave in a way that is more healthy, let's say, to establish a good relationship, comparing to a person that uh, don't know, I don't know, man, I'm going just there to find, hey, what's up? Hmm. Hmm. Like analyzing if it is a good environment or not, right? So it is useful. This person don't know if they are good people, but starts from the point of believing, yes, they are good people. Let's go. <laughs> you know, so uh, where you start from, I believe it matters, right? In a generalistic way. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much. Remember, we have School for Adults where I teach you education and psychology, philosophy, and we have weekly lectures on what I'm studying. The first lecture it was everything you need about fear to lose the, your fear. And we have courses, how to create a habit, to start the habit soon, how to sleep better, and so on and so on. Thank you so much. Links in the description. Put a like, subscribe, activate the bell, and see you tomorrow. Good luck.